If you thought your days of dealing with bullies ended after middle school, think again. NBC's Rahema Ellis discovered that a shocking number of them are running rampant at work. Bullying greatly reduces a company's productivity, as well as increasing other costs like the cost of turnover and the ability to retain very talented people. Nicole Williams is a career expert. Nicole, good morning. Nice to good see morning. you. Here's the problem, in my opinion. If you're being bullied at work, that's bad enough. But if you're being bullied by someone who can actually fire you, yes. that's a really difficult dynamic. It is a difficult dynamic. And, you know, not to underestimate that, but at the end of the day, you you need to stand up for yourself. You know, there is the opportunity and the responsibility on some level for you to defend yourself. Before we get to that mm -hmm. point, let's define what technically is and is not bullying. First sure. of all, if you're being publicly humiliated at work. Yes, this is your boss walks into a meeting and belittles you. And it's not necessarily attached to your professional not performance. Not constructive criticism. Not constructive criticism and not behind a closed door. This is in a group of people, your peers, your coworkers, and it's a blatant disregard. It's it's generally more personally oriented. It's kind of like my kid could have done a better job right. than you could have. Also, if you're being sabotaged by a coworker, mm -hmm. and this apparently happens more often than people realize. <laughs> yes. This is someone stealing your ideas, forgetting to invite you to an important meeting, changing, you know, the scope of a project or inflicting a deadline that's absolutely unrealistic for you to achieve. These are the kinds of things that, you know, do sabotage your ability to perform. And another form of bullying might often be confused with just gossip, mm -hmm. but that is when you're being vilified. Someone is spreading malicious rumors about you in the workplace. That's absolutely right. And sort of the line between what is bullying relative to vilifying someone and what is just, you know, appropriate competitiveness in the workplace is, is it true or is it not? You know, the fact is, if they're spreading an untruth about you, that's a problem. But if the boss walks by and says, hey, Matt isn't here and it's 10. Well, Matt doesn't come in until 11. That's that's appropriate. That, right. That's okay. W w when do you brush it off, Nicole? Mm -hmm. And when do you say, okay, now I've got to actually take action here. Yeah, and I love that question because that's the problem with bullying. For the most part, you just eat it, eat it, eat it, and like they said in the clip, it can result in anxiety and depression. You don't go to work. Your ability to perform is impacted, and as a career expert, you're, you're primary career tool is you and if you don't have confidence if you don't feel motivated you are at a loss and your responsibility is to protect yourself not, so enough is enough not to get a lot of parents up in arms here but when you're young mm -hmm. sometimes you tell a kid who's being bullied the best way to handle it walk right up to the bully and punch him in the nose and they will not do it again they'll learn the lesson quickly what's the equivalent of doing that in the workplace right. you can't hit somebody can you figuratively bully back you can and I don't know that it's even bullying back but it is standing your ground. It is saying, I will not tolerate this because bullies go after the weak. They they sense out the weak and that is no different than the schoolyard. It's about power and control and if you make it crystal clear that you are not going to engage in this game, you are they're going to find someone else. And I know you feel you, you confront the bully first and then go to a boss second and only after Always. you've documented some of the instances. Absolutely. Nicole, thanks. My we pleasure. Thanks, Thank Matt. you very much.